Hi everyone, it's nice to meet you again. Well, we would like you to get acquainted with Uzbek national musical instruments. Now, there we can see different musical instruments made by craftsmen. History of instruments came through thousands of years. The history of Uzbek musical instruments is extraordinarily rich and diversified. Most ancient musical instruments that has remained almost unchanged up to present time are the simple percussion instruments, which were used by the our ancestors. And this is not surprising because one of the composing elements of Uzbek musical culture is rhythm. This is one of the most famous Uzbek musical instrument named after the top. Dutar literally means two strings. It's a traditional two-stringed musical instrument among the peoples of Central Asia and South Asia. Usually Dutar's length is for, from 1 to 2 meters with a pear-shaped resonator and a highly elongated neck with a fingerboard. Dutar appeared in about 15th century among the shepherds. At the beginning, the strings for the door were made of animal guts. Later, thanks to the development of trade along the Silk Road, the strings were made of twisted silk. In the producing of modern strings, silk or nylon is also used. The body of the door is made of mulberry wood and is encrusted with a bone. The door is an integral part of the centuries-old musical culture of the Uzbek people. Folk singers perform it on the doors at all Uzbek festivals, wedding, public holidays, and others. This is one of our Uzbek national musical instruments called Rubab. Rubab is a common musical instrument of the peoples of Central Asia. We also know that Rubab is played in North Africa and as it's not surprising in the southern provinces of Spain. The most common Turkic musical instrument is doira. Undoubtedly, the most favorite percussion instrument of the Uzbek is doira. One side of the wooden rim with diameter up to 50 cm is covered with tight leather membrane, whereas 60 metal rings are fixed on the other side. With fingers of both hands, a musician beats out a tattoo on the tightly stretched leather. At the same time, he shakes daira, thus accompanying the rhythmic sound strikes with melodical chime of the rings. What I am holding is a white musical instrument, surnai. Surnai, because of its rare and powerful sound, became one of the main instruments. Surnai is widely used in the ensembles, in a variety of national celebrations such as wedding ceremonies, the birth of a child. The repertoire is diverse, that's why Surnai is widely used. Surnai is a singing instrument, it can also make a continuous legato. There you can see progress of how our musical instruments are made. In this workshop, we can see the women are in progress of making musical instruments. And this is also made by them.
This is an international musical instrument, harfa, made by our local handicrafts.